Hello everyone, welcome to today's food review. Look at these, now yes, you may be seeing this correctly, two jumbo hash brown dogs. These are exclusive to Iceland. Um, they're new, and I had to sort of read the description to work out what exactly, I thought I knew what they were, because I know what hash browns are, and I know what sort of dogs are, hot dogs, and it is exactly what you're probably thinking. It's pork sausage wrapped in potato, shredded potato, I think. So I've no idea. I mean, I'm going to taste these. I'm going to cook it, show you everything you need to know. Um, as I say, these were from Iceland, four pound, and they're two of them. And they say they're jumbo. So let's see. So what's that? Two quid each, a sausage. But, I mean, these sort of things, they can either be a disaster or they're going to be a hit. Anyway, let's have a look at it. Let's take a quick look at the packaging. So, as I mentioned, two new Jumbo Hashed Brown Dogs, TGI Friday. Uh, and they are, what's it, 220 grams. And this is a serving, suge serving suggestions. So, you could have them with, looks like tomato sauce or like mustard or something like that. Uh, we've got all the ingredients here. So have a little scan of that if you've got any allergens and nutritional information there. Uh, a bit more stuff there. So there are two of them. They're 110 grams each. And it gives you a little description here. Two Jumbo Hash Brown Hot Dogs. And it's form shredded potato and dried potato with a pork sausage filling pre-fried and just tells you to keep them uh, storage is for frozen and uh, do not refreeze after defrosting okay sounds pretty good and a bit of recycling information there preparation instructions so for best results cook and frozen follow the instructions are guidelines only cooking times may vary uh, to the thickness of the portion. So it looks like you've got basically two options there. You've got air fry from frozen, which takes 15 minutes, or you can do in the oven, which I'm going to do because I haven't got an air fryer. Uh, based on a full pack, you preheat the oven to 180 or gas mark six. Remove required amount from packaging. I'm going to cook both of them. Place on a baking tray in a single layer near the middle oven. So fan is 25 minutes. Yeah, so I've got a fan oven. Then turn halfway through cooking time. Okay, so 25 minutes for these. I think that's about everything there. Right, let's get, let's get them uh, open and have a look at them. We'll open them this way, I think. I think you can open them a few ways, but we'll have a look. Them there. So they look all right. Two quid each, basically. See the old sausage there. Feel pretty weighty. Let's get these on the bacon tray and uh, put them in my preheated oven. One, two, so it says to put these in a single layer, middle of the oven, 25 minutes, 180 for fan, which is what I've got, and turn halfway. So let's stick them in. So they're about halfway, so I'm just gonna turn them over. Smelling quite nice. Put them in there. On. Two. Right, back in for roughly another just over ten minutes. So we're done. 
25 minutes. Let's have a little look what they're looking like. So they're looking nice and golden. Um, they smell them really good. Yeah, like just initial looks. They look quite appetizing. Well, let's get them on a plate and cop one open and have a taste. Okay, let's see what it's like. Let's see. So. You can see that. Don't know if it's any good. So you've got the sausage inside. That's quite nice. Yeah, mm. tell you what, surprisingly good. I wasn't expecting them to I thought they were gonna taste a bit. Not great. The potato is lovely. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I would. I'd I'd get those again. I like them straight away. I be honest, I was quietly thinking I wouldn't like this. I thought the Sausage is probably going to taste a bit, you know, ropey and that. But lovely potato, potato. Sausage isn't overpowering, which is really nice. Oh yeah, I mean, it's what four quid. A pretty decent size. I mean, you can have them obviously what you wanted to have them with. Not bad at all. Um, yeah, pleasantly surprised. I'll get these. Are they worth four quid? Be nice if you had four, wouldn't it? If you had four in the packet for four quid, so it could be a quid each. Might be a bit too much, so asking for that. But yeah, give them a go. They're worth a try. Don't discount these. I think I would buy these again. Uh, for what they are, I reckon, I reckon like around an eight, eight out of ten. Mm, yeah. Tasty. I would, yeah. Yeah, I'm impressed with those. So if you want to see more uh, reviews like this in the kitchen, remember to subscribe. If you did like this one, give it a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you on the next review.